Before we get this video started, I'd like to get two excuses out of the way. One, I've never actually ridden this bike before, and I was still getting used to the clutch and all the feels. And two, the microphone on my GoPro was not working, so I didn't get any video of me actually speaking. The only video I do have of me speaking, or the audio, is quite bad and almost impossible to hear. That's why I'm dubbing this at home. So this right here is going to be Project Smokey. It's a 1985 Kawasaki VN700, also known as a Vulcan. Now, this bike actually has a really interesting story. By that, I mean interesting story relative to my family. We've owned this bike for about maybe 3-4 years. We picked it up back when I was in high school. I ditched my senior English class to go pick it up bought home on the back of our truck and it's now four years later and it's our very first time riding it. It's been at a mechanic for almost a year to try and figure out what's wrong with it and the problem has been diagnosed. The engine is done. More than likely what's gonna happen is when we go on our trip, our big July family camping trip, we're gonna go down to California and try to pick up a VN750 engine for this bike. Now, I won't go into the Tariff Busters thing right now, but I'd love to make a video about it later on. The quick and easy of it is that back in the 70s and 80s, a lot of manufacturers were making 700cc versions of bikes that had been around and are still around for a while. Now this bike pretty much is the same bike as a VN700 Vulcan, meaning all the major components, the frame, transmission, all starter motor, all those part numbers are exactly the same as the VN700. And parts are still available for that bike because it was made much later. This being a VN700 had production end a lot earlier. Because of that, parts are almost impossible to find and we can't get the correct parts to fix this bike's issue. It will be a lot cheaper for us to go to California or go somewhere and find a VN750 motor and put that inside this bike. And that's what we're going to do. The reason it's called Project Smokey is that it smokes so bad to the point where we've literally burned out or burned most of the oil from riding it from the mechanic to home. This bike, by the end of this video, will have no oil left in it which is kind of crazy if you think about it. By no oil, I mean the low le oil level light was on. I don't mean that we actually just ran the bike dry of oil. That would be crazy. But this bike is going to be an ongoing project and it'll probably be years before we actually finish this bike seeing as how we bought it four years ago and we're just now riding it for the first time today. All in all, it was, it was really nice to get this spiked at this point of completion, or not even completion, just to the midway stage. Because we haven't even seen this bike in over a year, it's been with the mechanic. Now there are quite a few mods that we do have planned for this motorcycle including some LED lights. Uh, I'd like to get a 7 inch round LED light like they have on the Harley Davidsons. Put that one on this. Maybe see what else we can do. Oh, and by the way, the reason it smokes is because the actual engine itself is warped. We thought it might have had a, a bad piston ring or something. Turns out the whole the whole mating surface in between the head and the actual the, the crankcase or the the lower block, the head in the lower block is so warped that no amount of head gasket or RTV will cause the steel properly. That and the actual cylinders are warped into an odd shape. So this motor is pretty much done. It's going to be too expensive to rebuild it. And even if we were to rebuild it, we'd have to find the VN700 parts. I we're I, I asked the mechanic about maybe swapping in some VN750 parts into the motor. He said that would be too expensive and just too iffy in terms of reliability. But subscribe if you want to see more about this bike. It will be coming. W might not be soon, but this bike will be done one day. Smokey will be riding down the highway and no one will even know that 
used to have a blown motor and billow smoke for miles. You can't actually see it in the video, but if you turn around, there's almost like no way that any car behind us can see where they're going. I'd also like to point out that there's a stanced out Miata to the right. So, props to you, Mr. Miata. Again, do whatever you do on the internet. Have fun. Have a good one, guys.